Hey, this is Dave and I'm back with the Ranger 2000 build project and I'm just working on taking the screws out of the fuselage so I can remove the tray and then fit on the Pixhawk light and the other components. So stay tuned. This is me RC. The biggest trick to getting the tray out was I had to push these latches down for the wings below the plastic on the fuselage so they'd slip underneath. So I had to work pretty hard to push these down to get them out of the way and then once the tray was down far enough I could pull it forward then tip it sideways and pull it out. Then the next hurdle was getting the servo wires out from these grooves because they were keeping the tray from pulling out the rest of the way. The servo wires that went back to the tail that is. So I had to slip these out of the grooves, slip those servo wires out of the grooves. These could remain because they just go back to here, the wing uh, aileron servos, servo leads. So they could stay. Once you know how to do it, it's not too bad. So I plan on mounting the Pixhawk light just like this. It's actually reversed with the arrow pointing towards the back of the plane, but I think I can change a few parameters so I can mount it that way so I have access to all the pins. That'd be nice if I have to change wires. I don't have to pull the entire tray out to make changes. Also, I think I'll put the Minim OSD right alongside it with its pins facing out like this. That way I can get to it too. I think maybe the power module could actually go underneath. So to mount the Pixhawk light, I decide to put a little piece of plywood underneath the tray to screw into. And I've got it pre-glued here. It's got a little bit of Elmer's on there. Some waterproof Elmer's. Okay, so let's turn it this way and I'm going to mount it right in here. Just a piece of scrap plywood that I found not getting too fancy no 3d printing nothing like that anyone could do this just a little piece of I don't know if that's an eighth of an inch I think it's eighth inch plywood I don't know but it's just a scrap I found okay gotta get this paper off and then I'll drill some holes in here to mount the flight controller like that and put it on some standoffs and then underneath, I plan on tie wrapping, I think it's this way, just tie wrapping the power module like that. So I can plug in the ESC here and the battery here, and then this just goes to the Pixhawk light. So I'll just put a tie wrap around that to hold it. So that'll be the power module on the bottom, flight controller on the top. Alright, let's go ahead and put some clamps on it. and then we'll just let it go ahead and dry. So I added an accessory plug to the power module right here on the output side so that I could plug in the UBEC for the servos right here. Well, That'll go on the servo bus. The other end right here, servo bus to the Pixhawk light right there and this one just plugs right on here and since this accessory plug is on the output of the power module the current used by the servos by this UBEC will be measured as well. So here's what it looks like on the bottom of the tray so far. I have the power module in the front there and the UBEC to run the 5 volt bus on the Pixhawk. Both tie wrapped in. And then if I turn it over you can see the Pixhawk is going to mount right here in these four holes. And I have a tongue depressor right here to run the tie wrap across. I'm going to put a piece of vinyl siding right on top and bolt the Pixhawk down onto that. That will give me something to stick the Minimo SD to and also give some more support for the standoffs. Now it's time to screw the Pixhawk down onto the platform on standoffs and I've got the little piece of open cell foam here to go over the barometer. So you can see the piece of foam sticking out right here underneath the board and that's keeping the wind off the barometer. And I've done a lot more than that though, as you can see. So, here is the Minim OSD, and it's on double-sided tape stuck right next to the Pixhawk. 
and here's the wires here that go to the power module but this isn't the power module no it's on the bottom right here so I have it tie wrapped to the bottom oh pardon me might as well cover that too that's the GPS I decide to put the GPS into this foam that slides into the top of the plane that way it'll be right near the plastic at the top of the plane and the metal spars will be underneath it so they won't interfere so that looks like a good place for it I'm just going to try it out there if not it can be moved because this foam can be pulled back out alright back to the power module so its wire goes through this hole and back to the front also under here I have the UBEC mounted right here with a tie wrap this is the UBEC that feeds the servo bus on the Pixhawk and provides the 5 volts for that so that's underneath as you can see this design is pretty self-contained up here we have another UBEC and this is the one that provides 5 volts to both stages of the minimum OSD however it's not powered from the Pixhawk or from anything on this board it comes from actually these pins here when you plug in the camera there's 12 volts coming from the camera and the transmitter and that 12 volts goes to this middle pin which then powers this and lights up the minimum OSD that way its power system is separate and runs from the video battery I've got a schematic drawn up that I can show you how all this goes together and I'll just put that up on the screen for just a second so here's the layout there's far too much here to explain but I will get into it later and I'm gonna post this on my blog so if you wanna to go to my blog I'll put a link for that under the video and you can pull down the schematic and take a look at it for yourself but it has all of the wiring the servos plug into these slots right here I have them marked with a silver sharpie so these are the aileron elevator throttle is in the middle and then rudder and uh, the fifth channel is going to be for the flaps. I haven't marked that, but that will be for the flaps. So that's pretty much it. It's all self-contained. You can see the camera plugs right on here. And this wire here is for the video transmitter. So all I have to do is uh, plug that on and we're set to go. This thing will run just like it is. Of course, the only thing missing on this is the ESC for the motor, and that plugs on this plug right here. So I hope that helps. Understanding this, like I said, you can look at the schematic. Now before I mount the board in the fuselage, I better remember to put on the flaps cable that they gave me. I've already fed through the wires for the ailerons right here. And this would be hard to get to, in fact impossible, if you didn't do it ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and put these cables through this slot and feed them in here. I'll get them both in there and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, everything's mounted into the fuselage right now. The only thing I didn't do yet was I need to run the receiver wire down through there to the Easy UHF. Right now it's just hanging on the outside. I'll get to that next. But just a quick test, I've got an aileron servo there, and then the tail servos back there are already connected. But all the servos seem to be working. There's the elevator servo, you can hear it in the rear. The rudder, you can hear that. And this is the aileron there, hanging off the side, because I don't have the wings on it. Throttle. So it looks pretty good. GPS, like I said, it's in this chunk of foam right here at the top, so the GPS is actually right about right about in this area at the top right here, above the wing spars, which go underneath here, so they won't interfere. That should work, but we'll find out later. So I cut a small hole in the side of the fuselage right here so that I could access the USB port on the Pixhawk light. You can see here the USB cord is plugged into it. That makes it handy so I can program it later on without removing the board. Since the Easy UHF receiver is on top of the fuselage right here, the USB port is also accessible and I can get to that to program at any time. 
So in the next video, I'll be working on installing the FPV camera and the FPV video transmitter. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox. Thanks for watching.